South Carolina has experienced the least amount of rape and murder in the U.S., but one case would leave South Carolina puzzled for the next 11 years. We're 320 Productions, and this is Murder in the Midlands. The kidnapping and murder of Sherry Smith made national headlines in May of 1985. A teenager missing for three days. Bell kidnapped 17-year-old Sharon Sherry Faye Smith at gunpoint from the end of her driveway on Platte Springs Road on May 31st, 1985. Her car was found running with the door open. Her body was later found in Saluda County, South Carolina. Bell forced Smith to write a last will and testament before he murdered her and taunted her parents by telephone. He then kidnapped nine-year-old Deborah May Helmick near Old Percival Road in Richland County, South Carolina. On June 27th, Bell was arrested. Throughout the largest manhunt in South Carolina history, Bell made eight telephone calls to the Smith family, often speaking with Sherry's sister, Dawn. Viewers were reminded of what happened to Sherry Smith and how the killer, Bell, tormented the family with phone calls and assurances. That their 19-year-old daughter was still alive. However, when the body was discovered, it was apparent that he killed her in the same day he took her. Hearing about how Larry Jim Bell captured and kidnapped a nine-year-old and Sherry Smith, it makes me sick to my stomach to think that even someone in South Carolina could just take advantage and ruin the families of the people he kidnapped. It's so sad to think that someone could actually do that to another human being. The same individual, Larry Jean Bell, uh, within a few days kidnapped uh, within the same week kidnapped a, uh, a child over in Richmond County and nobody knew at the time who the person was. The only thing that we knew that we had a uh, possible ser serial killer in, in our area. So everybody was pretty conscious of keeping up with their children and where they were and, uh, and it was pretty scary there for a while. And uh, Larry Jean Bell, like I said, he, uh, he was eventually caught and uh, I re also remember when he got the electric chair. During his six-hour testimony at his trial, Bell continuously blurted out bizarre comments and carried on non-stop theatrics, rambling continuously and refusing to answer questions. He later made statements indicating that he may have been attempting to fake mental illness in order to receive a more lenient sentence. He claimed to be Jesus Christ until his death. Bell chose to die by electric chair instead of lethal injection. A surges on the fifth. Parents that you killed the same parent that killed her. Oh. Okay, let it keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Viewers were reminded. Three <laughs> twenty productions with murder in the Midlands. Still too fast.